Hi, I'm George Woodbury from College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, and in this video we're going to continue to solve equations by using U substitutions. In particular, in this video, I'm going to look at the U substitution U equals the square root of X. We'll use this for equations like X plus 3 square root X minus 21 equals 0. Again, what we're looking at is take the, the leading term, the term of highest degree. Can I square the other variable to equal that? Then it's asking for a u substitution. Let's get started. See the pattern? x square root of x. So if I let u equal the square root of x, then u squared is the same as the square root of x quantity squared, which is x. So I can replace this x by u squared. I can replace the square root of x by u. And now I have an equation that is quadratic. Uh, this one I can solve by factoring. u minus 3 times u minus 9 equals 0. So if u minus 3 equals 0, we know that u is equal to 3. Or if u minus 9 is equal to 0, we know that u is equal to 9. Time to uh, reverse the substitution. Let's go ahead and put in the square root of x where we had u. So square root of x equals 3. We solve this equation by squaring both sides. And we find that x equals 9 is one of our solutions. Uh, square root of x equals 9 square both sides and we find that x equals 81 is our other solution. Now we did square both sides of the equation so uh, you could check your solutions in the original equation. I'll do it just with uh, the 81. You could do it with either of them. They both check here. If I put in 81 for x I have 81 minus 12 times the square root of 81 plus 27. And I want to see if that does equal 0. Let's see, the square root of 81 is 9. So 12 times 9 there. 12 times 9 is 108. So I have 81 minus 108 plus 27. And that does equal 0. So that value checks. Uh, basically, what we want to look out for with this substitution is any time when we have u equal to a negative number, which will mean that the square root of x is equal to a negative number, we know that the principal square root has to be positive, and that solution will have to be thrown out. Let's take a look at that in an example. Uh, same pattern again, so I'm going to let u equal the square root of x u squared plus 10u minus 24 equals 0. Solve by factoring u plus 12 times u minus 2 is equal to 0. Our first solution from u plus 12 equals 0 is u equals negative 12. From the second equation, u minus 2 equals 0 will give us u equals 2 change the substitution back. Replace u by the square root of x. So here I have the square root of x equals negative 12. A square root can never be negative, so this uh, will not lead to an actual solution. For the other one, if I have the square root of x equals 2, I can square both sides to get rid of the square root, and I have x equals 4 as my only solution. All right, if you have any questions or comments on this video or this topic, or if you have a request for a video that I can put together for you on YouTube, you can reach me through the contact page on my website, and that address is georgewoodbury.com. Thanks for watching, and good luck with these.